So the very next hand, I've got 9-10 suited. I end up raising it from middle position, get one call from the big blind. Uh, the flop is two over cards, and I flop a gut shot. So I'm going to continuation bet that. Uh, there's a lot of different hands that I can fold out here. Small pocket pairs, small suited connectors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't have to make it a lot. I make it 35 cents. The turn is a five. When he check calls that flop, I'm going to give him credit for a lot more um, like one pair type hands, queen jack, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The five's just a very bad card for me to double barrel. So I'm not going to do it. And I spike my, uh, I spike my outs on the river. So I've got the, uh, uh, I've got a straight, the lower end of the straight, and the villain thinks for a little bit and ends up uh, overbetting. Now, at the time, I actually did not notice uh, his overbet, which is kind of surprising because I don't really have much else going on at uh, any other tables. But so a couple, a couple notes about overbets. Uh, one, overbets, especially from reasonable players tend to be very, very, very nutty. They usually indicate that somebody missed value on a previous street and is now trying to uh, compensate for that. Uh, of course, nuts are relative. So what would be some hands that would be nutty here? Uh, obviously, pocket fives uh, have quads. Um, a hand like, obviously, a full house, king's full, queen's full. I would give those less weight. I think those are uh, uh, less likely. Um, pocket jacks are a reasonable hand for him to check call the flop with uh, and then uh, get to the river with a full house. 9-10, obviously, uh, he could have as well, uh, although that would be kind of a weird way of playing 9-10. Ace-10 is the uh, is the nut straight here. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's any other straights. I think I think those are all the straights, but uh, Ace Ten is very possible here. Uh, pocket Fives is very possible. Pocket Jacks is very possible. Um, I think the only hand that I beat uh, that he could uh, bet like this is some kind of weird five, like Ace Five or a hand like King Jack. Um, but I don't think I'm getting the right odds, and I think as nitty as a fold this would be, I think the fold is correct given the overbet. I don't expect him to be overbetting here as a bluff. People just don't do that much. And when they do, it's like, what kind of bluff can he have? What kind of draws missed? A lot of the draws got there. Uh, my draw got there. My gutter got there. The other gutter got there as well. So, like I said, I don't think I noticed the overbet. I just noticed the fact that I have a straight and that he's betting what I thought was a pot size bet. He does show up with pocket queens, which is surprising. Um, but his overbet on the river uh, is not surprising at all.